Hey guys, Martin here. Uh, first we're still here of 2017. And uh, I know I, ha I have to apologize right off the bat for missing last week. That was, uh, that was entirely on me. Uh, it, was, it was entirely on me, but it wasn't for the same reasons that um, I missed one about three or four weeks ago. Uh, that was because I got too upset while recording to, to finish it, and I didn't really have time to re-record. But this time it was because I was... Um, well, it didn't really relate to my depression so much. It did in a way, but uh, we went to a cabin in the mountains for New Year's. We wanted to be uh, sort of in the middle of nowhere with friends uh, celebrating uh, far from the doldrums of society. No, it was just it was just a nice trip uh, that we wanted to take, and uh, my friend uh, KG had recommended this cabin and we all just decided let's pitch in and, and just hang out uh, in this cabin in the mountains with snow everywhere for three or four days and it was very isolated but at the same time uh, it was a bit of a cramped space and I didn't I, I was planning to uh, film a we're still here while I was out there and the, the opportunity just never arose I hate to say it the opportunity just never really presented itself and part of that was because we were just doing things the whole time. But the other part was also just that I socially did not feel comfortable just bringing out a camera and starting to talk about uh, my anxieties and depression. And I, I had planned, hope, hope, I'd hoped that I could wake up early one morning and do a quick video before everybody else had woken up. But unfortunately, everybody else was a much earlier riser than me. Uh, I'm usually good at that. I'm usually good at waking up long before I'm supposed to, but didn't work out this time. I'm sorry about that. That's 100% on me. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, I felt somewhat okay with, uh, with missing that week just because it was the new year. I had to miss Mark Remark for that week as well for similar reasons, but it was the new year. And, um, well, Again, it, it is not that great to to uh, to skip something like this. It, it's not it's not a good idea to skip any kind of you know self help, anything any kind of exercise that helps you take your mind off things or helps you deal with things uh, when you're depressed. Um, but I was in a I was in a good place at the time, and I wanted to I wanted to have that. I wanted to have that to myself, if that makes sense. I really wanted to uh, to just let that be a thing. I wanted to remember it and not think about the fact that I was uh, <clears throat> I had to make a a video blog about you know being down all the time. And yeah, that's that's probably irresponsible and that's probably not not very cool. It's especially not cool for all of you guys. But <clears throat> I really needed that. I really needed that time and that moment in that place and it shouldn't happen again. I, I don't think I'll be celebrating a new year <laughs> anytime soon, certainly not for another 360 days or so. But uh, that being said, I'm here this week, green screen behind me this time. I'm, I'm shut up in my office in the middle of editing and uploading uh, some Mark Remark stuff, and uh, I didn't want to go downstairs and interrupt everybody else. See, this is this is another uh, this is a demonstration of why I wasn't able to do it in the cabin, I guess, because I really need my own space and I really need my own thoughts. And uh, you'll notice that's why in some of the entries I I drove off by myself and I'd record them in the car, and that's just because I had to get out. I'm not very good at separating myself from from other people's space, if that makes sense. If there are other people around, then the environment belongs to them, in my opinion. I'm a trespasser. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I didn't want to do... I, I frequently don't want to record We're Still Here's unless I have my own place and my own f feelings and my own thoughts to deal with. And that's why I'm in here. There's, there's, I'm not going to project anything onto that green screen. Although I guess that would be kind of cool if I could just put myself in a completely different place every time to, to reflect my mood. Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. But anyway, I've been rambling for a while. I did want to say, I mean, this is really all I have to say for this entry, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it's, not, it's not unfortunate. It, 
the reason I do these these videos is just to check in with you guys and to give you an update on how I'm doing. Uh, but and this one there isn't much more substance to it than that. I hate to say it, um, but I wanted to say that you know doing these videos, and I've been doing them for around two years now. It's been around two years, and uh, that's a <laughs> It's a big thing. Uh, it's a big thing to have been relatively consistent with it. I, I know there's been a long periods where I, I know I was in the hospital for a while and I know there's been a few weeks that I've missed here and there. But for the most part, for the last, you know, 500 days or so, at least, I've been uh, I've been posting these and I've been updating you guys. And it's been it's been very rewarding on a personal level, on an emotional level. And and I don't mean to say that I'm not being like, yeah, I get a lot out of this. Yeah, thanks, guys. I just mean to be like, it's helped. It's 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 helped me to look at myself, and it's helped me to heal, and it's helped me to to look at things in perspective. And there's a lot of things in the last year that have given me perspective, and this has been a, a crucial part of that. And uh, I think it's important to have is perspective, especially when you're dealing with something as irrational as depression it's uh it's it's very easy to let it overwhelm you and it's very easy to let sometimes what amounts to nothing feel like everything and feel like it's gonna take over and and destroy you but if you look at it if you're able to really look at it clinically and uh just anal and and just talk to, talk about it and and th think about it in a very simple way, in a very straightforward way, it helps reduce the problem, even if it's just a little bit. And doing We're Still Here bit by bit, it's been like, it's it's like there's been a wall around me for a long time, and each We're Still Here that I've done has been me taking one brick out of that wall, if that makes sense. That the wall is something that I think we all deal with at some point some of our walls are bigger than others mine is like it surrounds me and it, it keeps me boxed in and sometimes that's a comfort and depression is sometimes a comfort that's odd to say depression sometimes it's it's reliable and it's there all the time and not everything is and I think that's something that I've been dealing with a great deal you know I think I've I've a lot of things in my life have been very transitory and a lot of that's because of me uh you know you lose people you lose things you lose you lose you lose things in your life you just either consciously or unconsciously and uh depression has been something that has been with me has been very intimately with me for the last two years and at times that makes you believe that it's your friend and it's not it's your enemy it's just very good at at tricking you, you know, and when I take when 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 each of these videos comes out, and I've taken one more brick down out of the wall that I've built around myself, and I did build it, I did put it there. Every time there's a new brick taken out, it's that much smaller, and it's that much easier to see through to the other side. And at this point having been doing this for a while, I see so much of myself and my life and the world and the people around me that I didn't, I chose not to see. And that's what's rewarding for me, is that I feel less like I'm lying to myself. I feel, well, I feel less like depression is lying to me. I feel like I know more clearly what the truth is about things and I feel like I know myself better. And that's, I guess what I'm saying is that I'm finally understanding why I'm doing this, you know? Because when I started it, it was just being like, guys, I want to talk about this because if I don't talk about this, I'll go crazy. If I don't talk about this, then other people won't want to talk about this and it'll make the, th the whole thing worse. Because the less we talk about it, the less we understand and the less we understand, the more damaging it is. But by doing this, I've reduced that damage. It's still there, but it hurts significantly less. And it's healing. 
and and by doing this I'm finally I'm finally able to confront it and, and that's probably something that was a lot obvious for a lot of you from the beginning but I'm finally starting to understand it that's the thing about this that's the thing about dealing with depression and healing from it 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 doesn't make sense until you've done it long enough to look back and see what you were and see where you came from you know if it's like it's like climbing it's cheesy as it is it's like climbing a mountain and getting to the top and looking behind yourself and then realizing oh it's not just that back there it's everything in front of me as well does this make any sense i don't know if it does the important thing is that i'm healing and these videos aren't what's healing me it's my actions that are doing that but these videos are helping me gain the ability to do that and you being here through that has been a huge part of that so thank you for that i'm healing <laughs> i've been very positive lately and i i I don't know how to thank you for that. And I'm talking to you and I'm talking to me when I say that. So, again, a bit teary. But um, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to, first of all, update you guys and, and say something at the very least. And uh, also just check in with you and, and let you know that I'm I'm still here. And we're still here. And that's what this is. I'll see you guys next week.